the terrifying crash that occurred just after the green flag drop. The red number two is Randy Cook. He went into three, and this is what happened. Yes, he's, he broke something getting into the corner, Bob, and that car uh, flipped over several times over the fence outside the ballpark. Now, as you can see right there, he dug in. Something dug in, started him flipping as he entered the corner. I'm not sure exactly what broke, but it looked like the left front corner or something broke. It dug in up and over the corner. As we continue to watch Ed Carpenter try to move up through oh, the field. Two oh. cars make contact. That's Dave Ray there in the 33 car. And it looks like he's going to stop and cause another go. Oh. Dane Carter didn't see him, came along and nailed him. Dane Carter hit him very hard as he didn't see him stop. That looks like the Fort. 14 car of uh, Steve Graham. Yeah, Steve Graham, exactly. Three 14s here tonight. I wasn't sure exactly which one that was, but he also got involved as those guys didn't see the yellow in time and heavy damage to Dane Carter's car. But Dane, as you can see, is climbing out. He's okay, but there is considerable damage to the car and he will not be in the Hut 100. Well, that's why they call it the action track. We have seen a lot of activity here so far, especially in this race. The first 10 lap heat went fairly smoothly with uh, no accidents whatsoever, but now we have had two in this second one. Stephen Graham has climbed out of his car. He is okay. Let's take a look at this again now. Davey Ray in number 33 will be the guy that gets sideways and uh, causes the jam up behind him. He just got in there very hard, got into the back of the 29 car of uh, of Russ Gamester, and when he hit him, he kept, Gamester kept going, but he just stopped dead in his tracks. Evidently, there was no yellow out when those guys entered the corner, which is very understandable. Uh, the, you're sideways with these cars when you're running through there. Remember, now, see Dane Carter sideways. He can't, he can't miss him. He saw him in plenty of time, but he was already sideways, and there was no way for him to steer around him uh, either way at that point. So it was a tough break for those two cars that just couldn't miss that car that was sitting uh, dead in the water. There's the contact. Carter takes a slow rollover, not a real hard crash at all. And three cars eliminated here in this incident up between turns three and four. There's Davey Ray, who again started on the outside of the front row, but had fallen back and then got sideways and created the three-car incident. Yeah, it was a tough break for him. He, uh, he had fallen back several spots. Looked like he got into that corner very good, but when he... When he got up with uh, Gamester, he just hooked his front bumper and Gamester's rear bumper, and by the time he shook loose, he'd 